crowd are here and here in force for what is going to be a fantastic day of racing. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. Anthony Davidson is with me here today to talk you through all the thrills and spills on a circuit where overtaking is certainly on the cards. Pole position is by no means a guarantee of victory here at Albert Park, with the top three grip positions all finding success in recent years. Reliability tends to be more of a concern here than at the other circuits if the cars are brand new and the teams haven't had a chance to optimise their strategies yet for a race scenario. All this means there's a fair amount of volatility in the pecking order. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Alexander Albon and Bottas, Stroll, Magnussen, Ricardo, and Roman Grosjean. Norris, Perez, Esteban Ocon and Sainz, Giovinazzi, Russell, Daniel Kvyat and Pierre Gasly, Raikkonen and Nicholas Latifi. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track.
another superb Australian Grand Prix comes to an end. And it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Kimi Raikkonen is my standout today. Nothing you could construe as show, but... Hello and welcome from Albert Park, Australia for today's race. And I think it's shaping up to be a classic. So here we are at Albert Park circuit, 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend of course, make for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three. Anthony Davidson is with me once again to take you through today's action. And we have plenty of twists and turns to come over the next hour or so, I'm sure. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position. But are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? Besides that, of course, any kind of turn one incident could completely turn the race on its head. Let's keep our fingers crossed everyone can get through in one piece. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Alexander Albon put in a great lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen and Hamilton, Norris, Grosjean, Stroll and Esteban Ocon, Sainz, Ricardo, Kevin Magnussen and Perez, Gasly, Latifi, Daniel Kvyat, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Raikkonen and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Time 
penalty, we'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Exit now. incident.
accident. Take button for more power. 